right. Let's see what we've got here. I don't know what we got in the mail. Oh, code 19 delay. Nice. Pick up that. Hopefully they'll get uh, update 43 out uh, soon, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, obviously I don't mind the uh, the rewards, but uh, I feel like uh, we do definitely, I don't know if we do more than 100 a week, um, but we're definitely missing out all the DNA that uh, we would be getting if code 19s were, were active. Uh, get the prize drop, four earth perks. Oh, let's see, DNA, DNA, and I think DNA. Nope, oh, okay, I'm the dot here. So I'll we'll drop that in right away. Um, we'll go ahead and do, since it's Wednesday, do 20 of those. We'll do 10 of those, see what we get here on the gold prize. Pack. It's not bad. Pack used to be a lot better here because it used to have bucks and everything else in it and it used to have a decent amount of loyalty points, but uh, it has been nerfed uh, quite a bit. But uh, it's still a pack, so we'll take it. So DNA and coins, food. Pack Ibranosaurus. And then a little bit of loyalty points. And we'll do the, uh, the bronze tickets later. Um, that way you guys don't have to watch any ads or anything. Let's pick this up. Notice I don't have much in the hatchery. It's because I uh, cleared everything out during the Tuesday discount. Also cleared out all my super high bed DNA. Okay, don't know what exactly happened there, but um, <laughs> Uh, we've also got uh, this that just uh, updated here to uh, <sighs> fed the dinosaur. So we need to feed uh, something so we get active that what I try to do. Maybe that was it. Maybe I clicked on the get free DNA somehow, some way. Um, but uh, yeah, unless they're doing, no, that wouldn't be for it watching videos, but, um, but yeah, so I cleared out all of them, um, almost back to another Velociraptor, almost have uh, Sarcosuchus enough for that 600, but the other ones are 1,000. Um, but I did two Monolophosauruses, one in the Raptor, um, one uh, Tepigestolophus, and one Spinotosuchus, so um, that's why my Anna did a whole bunch. Well, let me, let's, let's do this here real quick. Uh, let's take care of the Trade Harbor before we start clicking on stuff and using up coins that we could use for other things. Uh, no. No, and no. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna get. Carnoraptor, take it. Now we can go click on some stuff here. Six, but uh, ended up doing. Uh, Indominus Rex Gen 2, only to level 30. Um, I just wanted to get it up uh, to a usable range. I might do um, enough to do another level 30, but I'll do it tomorrow during the uh, hybrid uh, discount, 20% uh, off. But I did uh, three copies, three additional copies after the fuse to get to four for the level 30. Um, also did an additional Velociraptor Gen 2 and the Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2. Insta-hashed all of it, um, which is why my bucks went down almost uh, 10,000. Oh, of course I got a charge. Uh, but the other thing I want to do is I want to go and place should have, uh, yep, see that little building icon there on the DNA building? We've got the VIP food factory. So let's place this guy down here. All right, VIP food factory automatic generates food for free. Collect often and increase the amount of food produced each upgrade. So let's see what it's. Uh, Okay, so it's 24 hour countdown on this guy. 
Ready to upgrade, yes. Uh, Rants announced it's 85,000 every 24 hours. Uh, and I believe, uh, so it's gonna take five days to upgrade this to the next levels, 85, that went up. Uh, was it 70 when it first dropped? I think it was 70. Um, let's see if it, uh, it's not gonna say here. Um, I wish it would say what each of these things are. Um, especially since, okay, there, okay, so it's, so up to 400,000 every 24 hours. So the question is how many things is it going to take to get to uh, that? Um, and the DNA building is taking quite some time uh, to get to 1,200 every 12 hours. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what we have as a timeline because like the last one was some ridiculous amount like I don't know 80 or 100 I can't remember it's been so long uh, clicks before the DNA building hit it's on that's just the last level not to mention all the levels up to that um, so level 12 um, so the question is is this going to be level 12 also um, level 10 uh, we will see and I'm assuming that over time similar like they have on the DNA building um, they will be able to increase um, the amount that this puts out, you know, depending on how much you upgrade um, the, the food facility. But, um, you know, what I don't get, I know it's extra food, but, you know, this is 85,000 every 24 hours. This is 240,000 every four hours. So eventually when it's 400,000 every 24, I mean, it's, it's more food, but proportionally it's like nothing. <laughs> it's, it's not a lot of food. Um, it's cool to have another building, but it doesn't really do um, a whole lot. Oh, there we go. I see I had to make um, some space for my monostegatops. Um, it was, it was full after doing the two, um, so I'm just making some, some level 30s now, um, making some more space. I'm gonna start that guy up, move back into here. Oh, that's gonna go all the way. Oh well. All right, so there's that. Let's. Uh, Raptor You're over yonder somewhere. Alright, so we got space for one. Yeah. Speed this guy up, because whatever we're gonna get, we're gonna drop in here more than likely anyways. Little DNA. Let's go back in here and see what we get for another coins for Jurassic. Dimetron. Dimetrodon. Go back up close to max coins. Don't need to get all the way up, but just close. Telling you, if you got the custom trades, the uh, that's where it's at. Coins for dinosaurs. Um, I've almost got maxed out my hybrids, the various hybrids. Um, once I do, um, I will probably start doing uh, coins for. Aquatics. I think they are more valuable than the uh, 
Then the Jurassics and the Trade Harbor. Um, okay, Depression Coal unlocked. I'm assuming that was a delayed item for this. <laughs> okay. Or maybe that was delayed item for this. No, nope, that's still checked off, so I don't, I don't know. That was weird. Um, that was odd. No progression goal has been checked off. <laughs> um, but uh, since the card record takes longer, I'm going to do the, the dip rotator first just to hash it out. Even though I know I've got the other slot open, um, I'm going to keep it open. I don't want to spend the 100 bucks. We'll feed a dinosaur so we get... Uh, Credits for the event. So three hundred and fifty billion. I'm not sure why they've done so much on the food. Um, the coin one, which was the last two days, uh, the community did in I think the first two or three hours. 180 million coins but coins are so e so much easier to um, to spend I mean I've already spent a hundred million in the last you know three three minutes uh, so yeah all um, right so we got in the trade armor so let's put this guy because I don't want to get a trade for him Diamond Trodon, which is okay, the Earth parts, which are okay, and the Potosaurus fossil. Let's see what we get when we do some refreshes here. Take that. Nope, nope. And let's check and see if we have any other offers for the Diamond Trodon. We do not. So we'll take the cash for him. Ultimately, I'd like to get loyalty points for, uh, for those guys, but... Uh, when you got something, you got something, you take it. No. Yes, take that. No, no, no. Yes. Take that. Refresh. No. Yes. Oh, I forgot I had this in there. And this is why you don't want to keep those. At least it wasn't a Bucks one. Um, but the mods are just worthless um, when it comes to trade offers. All right. Well, that was, that was that. Nothing too exciting on the trade discount today, but that's okay. Um, what do we have for events today? Let's take care of these. Stakeholders visit, ready rumble, ready to explore. All right, they've loaded up. Oh, they're only doing a couple of days at a time now. We can do the this uh, this one was the last one that was available, but now they're showing these two more for the two days after that. But uh, they're not showing what's available after that. For a while, they were doing you know two or three weeks, um, well, two weeks I guess I should say of events at a time. I was hoping we'll be able to see what the tournament one was in advance of what it's uh, actually going to be. It was one of the things that kept slipping out. Um, but nothing so far. So let's take the chance. Let's just ready to explore one. Uh, okay, this will be a very easy event. Um, let's uh, square this away here. No requirements. Uh, let's see, this can be done with a corner raptor because you can uh, one shot them. Uh, actually, just shy of one shot in that second one, so we'll go with the uh, spinal raptor. Alright, this should be a pretty easy event, at least based on the triceratops that we're facing here. Blocking here because we have plenty of health. And we're not dealing with too much attack on the other side. 
Oh, I really wanted to do a video on the um, on the Floss Rector Gen 2 event, um, but uh, life doesn't always allow us to do what we would want to do. Um, needless to say, I was not home when that went live. I was at uh, the hospital. Um, my wife is having some sort of crazy shoulder pain um was that last night yeah my, my days and sleep schedule all screwed up but uh because it was late at night um there was no doctor's office open so we went down to the emergency room at the hospital um and spent uh, six hours there from twelve thirty to six thirty in the morning um and that was quite the experience. I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, I get that there's a lot of stuff going on in the hospital, but it took way longer than I thought it would. Um, and yeah, but uh, you know, they did some x-rays and nothing broken or anything, but uh, she was in pain that I have not seen um, from her in a really long time. Was, you know, in a joking way, we talked about how the only time that I'd seen her breathe and look like in pain that she was, was when she was in labor um, with our two kids. But, uh, but yeah, so it was kind of a scary, scary situation, but um, gave her some pain meds uh, and kind of sent us on our way. Um, and yeah, but, but I wasn't available, was not at home to do the video and my sleep schedule and everything else was all screwed up yesterday because of that. <sighs> so, um, you know, video yesterday for that event, um, and, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> It was, it was crazy. Um, hopefully, um, it's just a, you know, a spasm muscle or something that she couldn't move her arm. And if she did move it, it, you know, shooting pain through her entire arm. So my guess is it's a pinched nerve, um, but I'm not a doctor. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be better today. It looked like it was better towards the end of the day yesterday. Um, different. Uh, lots of ibuprofen, lots of Tylenol. Alright. What are we going to do? Dilophosaurus. Not much. Good night. Right. One of them done. See what this card pack looks like. Jurassic Park Stars Pack. 50 bucks, 250 DNA, 250 DNA, Dilophosaurus. And up in, oh, 30 loyalty points. Wow, that pack is not worth much at all. It's worth uh, the same, or just a little bit more than just a VIP mystery pack. So not a whole lot there. Let's take care of stakeholders visit. This one's always a fun one. Um, and based on what we got here with the uh, amphibians falling, we're going to do some Metrophodons. Do a Metrophodon and a Tappy here. If we need it, probably might not need it, but um, also trying to reserve legendaries where I can. Uh, since the uh, rarity rubber balls are all legendaries only, so if I could get away with using some rare or super rare hybrids as well, um, we will do such a thing. Two shot the Gorda. Let's see if he decides to attack, he does not. I'm just gonna swap over here. This is 
is a three shot, so three to kill him. I'm just gonna do two. Oh, you actually blocked all three. I never thought that. Oh, that's okay. If he goes for it, that's fine. If he does, not a big deal. One shot this Gorgasuchus. Uh, we'll block three, because all we're gonna need is two. Even though we could have blocked uh, just two and still been fine. Because even if he blocks four here, we're gonna have six. Two is enough to kill him. And we are golden. Again, kind of playing out the moves of the AI in your head. Um, and you can, you don't have to use, depending on your lineup, if you have a balanced lineup, a very deep lineup, um, you generally are not going to have to use all three strong creatures. You can almost always get away with uh, doing the one throwaway creature. Now the one time that you can't do that um, is if you've got uh, some way that you can't kill the first one and then you have, or you do kill the first one and you have class disadvantage on the second one. Now sometimes that will mean that you'll have to put in a stronger creature in the first one. Potentially one with a class advantage, so the AI will want to swap out, but um, in this case, uh, we can two-shot the Udon with uh, Matrophodon, and um, we won't even have to block any, because even if um, the Gorgasuchus just swaps out, the Matrophodon uh, cannot one-shot our Matrophodon, so we are, we are safe. Probably swap. Question is, will he attack? He does. Uh, so it's going to take two to kill him. Uh, I'm going to actually do this because this is also take two. One for the swap, one for the kill. I'm just going to reserve here. Technically, the Gorgas just can kill us if he attacks with all three. If he decides that's what he wants to do. She does not. We have three more than he's got, so we're gonna have to swap over because we have plenty to kill him here. Because the Sector Suchu says such high, such high attack. Alright, one more battle. What do we got? Alright, so we've got uh, Carnivore Clown 4, Herbivore. With soon have for amphibians. He will be able to two shot us. I'm going through my head as if I do this. It's gonna take three to kill the Glythronax. Um, the Sarazinosaurus will, I don't know if he'll be able to two shot us. He will be able to swap over and one shot us obviously with the Sigma Suchus. Um, you know, I'm gonna try this and see what we get here. I'm just gonna put an Endoraptor here at the end. No, no, I'm not sure if uh, the Glyphronax will be able to uh, be very close um, if he can two shot us. But even if he swaps out and does a Sigma Sutra, Sigma Sutra is going to be a one shot from the Endoraptor. Um, so we will, we will see here. Right, so three. If the Sarazinosaurus can two shot us, if he can, he should go for both. If he can't, he'll probably swap and then take us out with the one shot. There we go. Alright. And go with one. Two block. 
see if he goes for it. He can't kill us with two. Doesn't go for it all the way, but he goes for enough to where we don't have to worry about him. So we'll have enough to take him out. Easy peasy. What will we get on the prize wheel for loyalty points? A thousand? That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take that. Doubled up. Two thousand loyalty points. Spent some loyalty points too the other day because I had some. Decent offers in the trade harbor for you know eleven thousand multi points for some VIPs that I wanted to get, so I took them. Um, but now I got to build up my loyalty points back up, um, and I am willing to spend bucks to do that on here because even though it's nine hundred fifty bucks, um, I get more than. I should say almost more than um, the 1700 or even the 700, which is 1400 loyalty points. It's kind of a break even between um, how many loyalty points for bucks trades um, I get in the in the trade harbor. And if I get, you know, 850, 1000, or even 1500, um, you get more than what it's, uh, what it's worth. So I'm um, gonna, gonna take care of that every time we get that offer. I don't know if I want to do actually let's let's do some let's go pick up some mods, do some mod battles. Uh yeah. Take care of these two. Do the rarity rumble later. Uh let's see mods. Pick up nine mods so that's one maybe we'll mix it up and mix up with some other mods as well not just the commons put some variety into uh into this it's two uh, saying that we completed the thing because we picked up the one mod in the prize pack oh okay no rare okay so that's three Number five, Split Wound, such a good mod, such a good mod, especially for a common. This would be number six, Clone, that's nice, we'll use that, that'll be fun. Silk one out of the way. Um, we'll do a vitality. And then a piercing bite and then alpha. Let's see if we get matched up on the other side. Too crazy, no clocks disadvantage for us. Do have piercing bite on the opposite and the units are gonna be no options. Let's see what uh, he decides to do, but uh let's get a block one here. Him, I'd be chipping away with uh, my piercing bites. 
course I'm not him. So he's probably gonna go for it now. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so he didn't that time. So five. Potentially he's blocking three and going for six. Or he could be blocking two and going for seven. Uh, I am going to reserve out here. Yeah, so I thought about blocking four, but then he might have done seven, which would have been enough to kill us. Sometimes we go for all of it, oh well. All right, so he's got one left. Three plus one. Um, we'll go ahead and block all four here. Reason being is if the spider to suit just, uh, if it hadn't have blocked that, would have had five. If I was one blocking three, it would have been enough to kill us. Let's see if he goes for it here. He does, perfect. Right, so this will be a two shots. And then we're gonna reserve the other two. This is Spinosaurus. Uh, Spinal Raptor, gosh, sorry, Spinal Raptor. Uh, he'll be able to kill us in two. So, no point in blocking. We'll do clean up with the bombs there at the end. Question is, what will we get on the wheel? enough for us to do another uh, Diplosuchus, which is nice. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Okay, so <clears throat> let's, uh, let's head over and get our one elite um, PvP out of the way here for Aquatic. Using our Typical lineup here. Uh, let's see. We'll go with a split wound and then piercing bite and alpha. I'm gonna save the distractions and the clone for the last battle. Mm, lots a lot of binds. No changing for us, which uh, will be interesting uh, because we have got uh, we have to do one right off the bat. Or are we going to want to save that? We're going to do one right off the bat. Reason being is he's going to swap and we're not going to be able to move. Um, he might attack us, he might not. He won't have enough to kill us when he swaps in his reef. Um, but then after that we'll just be reserving until he does kill us. But I wanted to have enough damage done on that uh, cave so that when we inevitably get stuck with our reef against it, we only need to do one shot to kill it. Right. Okay, we're just gonna reserve out unless he doesn't attack here, which I can't imagine he wouldn't. So now he 
should be attacking us. Probably with six. He's got one left, we'll do two. And then as much reserve. Should be four reserves, two block. Actually, I don't want to do more than that because uh, we've got 40% uh, of attack stat, which is enough to kill him, even if he's blocking. There we go. Again, we can't move. Question is he gonna attack? Is he gonna reserve? Probably gonna reserve. Right, so let's see, let's do maybe three to kill him. And then he's blocking two. There we go. Now the Dagoderma for sure is going to kill us. He's gonna have six. Seven. Sorry, seven. Well, it doesn't matter what he does here because either of our creatures that are coming in next um, will have enough to, to kill him. We're going to have seven ourselves. He's got two left. It's only going to take one shot to take him out. We are good to go here. This wheel. Oh, Diplotator, nice. I don't know if you guys saw it flash by earlier. Um, it's one of the ways you can tell kind of what you're going to be ultimately landing on these mod wheels. All right, so we got one more that we need to do. Um, but I want to see if we can uh, pick some creatures that so uh, we see I don't want to say trick, but um, let's see. We've got start off with Plotosaurus, which is uh, two, six, six, four, five. got a ferocity uh, the single one of uh, 44 4440 um, that is uh, what most VIPs are but then I'm gonna do a Dacosaurus is only a very small amount. I'm um, just got 275 ferocity. And then what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay under uh, 2700 ferocity, but with the VIP in there to see if it. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Um, doing a reef. I don't want to look at everything here. Let's see. Something with decent attack. Alright, so this. Is 2,185 ferocity, which is well below my threshold that I was tracking, which was 
somewhere between 2800 and 27, uh, 2750 as a switch over from elite to advanced, but that was with similar creatures, or creatures with a similar ferocity. Um, and I'm wondering if, um, if this will still be enough for the elite wheel, if we'll be stuck on the advanced wheel. We'll see if we get the elite wheel. Um, that means that there is definitely more of a trigger around a single creature in your um, lineup that determines what wheel you land on. Um, but uh, if we get uh, if we get the advanced wheel, then we'll know that it's team ferocity. Uh, so we'll have to we'll have to check here. All right, and this is why I didn't want to put my clone first because uh, we had that nullify there. Uh, unfortunately, this means that our. Um, Clone is not going to be much of a help in this event, simply because we're not going to have all that much of uh, attack here, so we're going to have to play this appropriately. Uh, let's see here, he's going to... Block one here. Because he can two shot us. Yes, he can. Swaps over, he can't two shot us. That one was the more difficult one. This guy is not that big of a deal, and I'm hoping... Oh, he's not going to have enough. As I said, I was hoping he's going to have enough to actually jump over and kill us, but he's not going to have enough to do that, so he's going to swap. He will have enough to kill us. Gonna activate. Oh, it's not gonna activate. It's normal if I was gonna take it out first. I wasn't sure it was gonna activate and then go. So we're going to just reserve out here. So hopefully he goes for all five because he's got that extra one, which is ideal. There we go. That's so we'll take out his Ammonite. Three. He's going to have 211, a little bit less because of our distraction, and so he can't kill us with two, couldn't kill us with three, could have only blocked one, but uh, it's only going to take one shot to kill him, so we don't need more than technically one reserve, since he's going to have four, doesn't really matter what he does here, we got to beat The question is Elite or Advanced Prize Wheel?
elite. Okay. So it definitely has to do with a single creature's ferocity and not your team's. Interesting. I'll have to play around with that more. Okay, let's pick up the last of these guys here. exciting but I'll always take the 55 bucks against this I'm saying like the daily pack 130 loyalty points obviously double but uh, compared to the pack at the very beginning of um, the video uh, for the Jurassic Park tour only worth 30 loyalty points just doesn't make a lot of sense um, and we got the Diplotator and Diplosaurus um, Dilophosaurus so we'll put um, the, we're actually not going to aim to get that uh, Diplotator in anytime soon um, if it doesn't get traded off before um, we get into the Cornoraptor being ready to be uh, opened up, then I'll drop it in. But uh, I'm not going to spend the, well, it's 50 bucks. Do I care? I don't care. You know what? For 50 bucks, I'm going to put it in here. Even though I don't need to, um, you know, it's 50 bucks, put it in here. I've got 156 to speed this up. Um, and I don't have uh, anything that I need to drop into uh, that spot. So that's what we're going to do. And I think that will do it. Uh, next video will be probably the uh, tournament run video, depending on what the tournament's going to be this weekend. So that's a couple days. Uh, and I'm trying to do my videos in the morning now, so hopefully that will shorten that video. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you later. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell will ensure that you'll be notified as I release videos on the channel. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If there is something specific you would like a video on in the game, please leave a message in the comment section below on what you would like to see. Again, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one.